I know I am insanely late to this party, but I still wanted to make my video talking about it because Breaking Bad has been one of my favorite series of all time, as with so many people on the planet, and I just thought I wanted to make this video because I just finished watching Breaking Bad again with my girl. This is my second time watching this series, and I was like, why not? I have a vid I have a channel where I talk about movies and TV shows and books and everything that I like to talk about, so why not talk about Breaking Bad, a show that I absolutely love while it's still fresh in my head. Today, we're going to be talking about Season 1 of Breaking Bad. Spoiler talk, by the way. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've seen it, but still, I want to give the spoiler warning. We're going to talk about Breaking Bad in just a second before we get into it. I know it's a long intro, but I do want to say hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with too many YouTube channels, and this is the Glenn of my channel, where I talk about senselessly something that I just watched. So I'm going to talk about something that I really loved about it. I'm just going to go through the whole season, talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, just talk about the show in general. So like I said, though, before we get into it, I have seen Breaking Bad before. One of the best shows of all time. Usually, I haven't seen the things that I talk about. For example, I'm watching Fire Force right now. I'm in the middle of season two. I made a video on season one, and I, d I don't know what's going to happen. This is one of the few times where I have seen it. I just watched it again with my girl, so I already know what's going to come. So I, I it, it might alter the way I view this a little bit, like certainly alter the way I view Walter White. You know what? Spoiler warning if you haven't seen all of Breaking Bad, because I might, get, I might get into it. So if you want to click off the video, here's your chance. We're going to talk about it in three, two, one. Okay. So I think we should just start for this from the beginning. And honestly, the plot, man, the plot for the pilot episode was incredible. There was so much stuff in it. You start off with Walter White, right? Walter White, he's like, what, is he 50? I think he was 50, yeah, because 52 by the time he ended the series, right? I remember he was making it with the bacon. He is so sad with life. He's just depressed. He got screwed out of a company. He's a high school teacher who has to work at a gas station to make ends meet. He's washing his own student's car while he's getting mocked. Up. And he comes home to a nagging wife. And even on his birthday, all he got was like a little handy. And like that's like... Oh, man, his his life is just in shambles. He's depressed, and then he gets smacked over the head with lung cancer. So we spend a lot of time in the pilot episode, him seeing just, just being depressed, and he's ready to lose it. And then he gets smacked with lung cancer, and all of a sudden, his his life just turns around. You know what I mean? He starts, and of course, as we all know, he as the season progresses, he gets into cooking meth, and that's even in the first episode, right? So he's he's already thinking of a way that he needs to pay for this. Right, and then he's sitting down for his birthday party. Hank's like, hey, I'll take you on a ride along. And I always think about, too, it's like, what if Hank never said that? Well, let's just say the word. I'll take you out on a drive. Imagine he never said that. We wouldn't have a show. It's crazy. <laughs> so he went out and then saw his student, Jesse Pinkman, as we all know. And then at the end of the episode, or not at the end of the episode, there's so much in this episode that I didn't even realize. I'm trying to think of, like, what was in the very first episode. He goes over to Jesse, and it turns out it was his high school student, right? And Jesse was all confused. He's like, I'll turn you in or you can teach me how to cook crystal meth or not teach him. Like we work together. We partner because he needs money, right? How is he going to pay for his cancer treatment? It's it, it's really tough on him, but he does break bad. And that's what I absolutely love about it too because there was another part of the episode where Jesse ended up <laughs> saying all of a sudden at age, what, 50? He's just going to break bad. And I just find that so like like wonderful inside. I like it's so satisfying to me when somebody says the title for something, especially when it's only one time. Uh, Jesse's like, all of a sudden, at what, age, what, age what, 60 is just going to break bad. And I was like, yes, I love those little touches. It's awesome. So they start cooking together. And of course, it you have, and I forget, also forgot when I was rewatching this, how funny the first season was, especially the first episode. Walt and Jesse are just amazing. And I should talk about the casting too. The casting is perfect. And I'm one of those people who have a really, really hard time. If you were to see like, for example, I'll take Tony Stark, the actor of Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. If I see him in anything else, I'm like, that's Iron Man. You know, I can't see it. I grew up watching Malcolm in the Middle. Loved that show. And of course, the actor who plays Walter White is the dad in Malcolm in the Middle. So typically, I would be like, mm, I can't see him as a drug lord. But Brian Cranston is such a good actor that he just made me lose it all of a sudden. I was just laser focused on Breaking Bad. And that's so unlike me. And that speaks to his acting skills. Absolutely incredible. And everybody in that show is fantastic for acting. Skylar's so good. The actress for Skylar is so fantastic. You hate her so much that I already know she's an amazing actor. She's great. Continuing on with the episode that I was talking about, though. So they figure out they get all their supplies and stuff. And then long story short, Jesse gets the two guys, Crazy 8. And I can't remember the other one's name. The name's escaping me at the moment. I just finished watching the whole series, right? 
They go out into the desert, and then there's a problem while they're cooking. Jesse brings those guys to Walt. They end up killing them. Long story short, Walter starts making his chemical explosion, chokes them to death or makes them suffocate or destroys their insides, whatever he did with the chemicals. Then they died, and this is the start of the series. The episode ends with them driving away with the bodies, who we think both of them are dead. (laughs) <laughs> it's Walt's about to shoot his own brains out, makes the video that we saw at the beginning. And I got to say, like, the teasers at the beginning of the episodes that that they do with Breaking Bad, whoever created that. I, is it Vince Gilligan? Is that his name? I That's going to sound so bad if it's just a completely other writer. Regardless, that's the first episode. Walter tries to shoot his brains out. Doesn't work. The gun's not loaded. We move into the next episode. We then spend the entire next episode <laughs> with Walt deciding whether or not he wants to kill Crazy 8. Because we realize that once we get back, that Crazy 8 is actually there, and so Jesse was assigned with, oh, that, that happened in the first episode, no, that was this episode, I believe, regardless, it was in the first season, it's all about the same time frame, I'm not going from episode to episode, I guess, kind of am, going off topic, so Jesse's ended up with the task of d- destroying the dead body, or getting rid of it, right, with all those chemicals, and then, it's so funny, like, again, I forgot how funny this series was, where Jesse's like, I just, why is he making me get this ridiculous bin, and then he's trying to, like, see if a body will fit into it in the middle of, like, a Walmart, or wherever he is, and it's just great, so he ends up doing it in the bathtub, falls through the ceiling a little bit later, but even before that, the whole next episode is about whether or not Walter should kill Crazy 8, or let him go, and this is where I was like, Man, I'm, like, really smart in that sense. Like, and I don't mean to go, hey, look at me. I'm smarter than Walter White. You know what I mean? I would have been like, uh-uh. My first instinct was like, mm-mm. Yeah, that guy was going to come for your entire family. And Walt's writing out a, like, a little checklist where it's like, mm, let him live. This is a good thing. Nah, if I, but if I don't let him live, he might kill my family. And then I was sitting there. The first time that I watched it, too. I, and my dad's, my dad's a police officer, too. So he's, like, kind of like me where he was. <laughs> we were sitting here and we are like, mm-mm. This dude's going to come back for your family. And my dad obviously knows that. And the first time I watched it, I was watching with my parents. Now I'm watching it with my girl. And the first time that I watched it with my mom and my mom with the giant like heart. And it's so funny because I had the same experience with my mom and my my fiance where she's like, well, he said he promised that he wouldn't come back to kill him. Look at he's being nice. He's just it's just an unfortunate circumstance. And I'm like, my dad and I are looking at my mom. I'm like, are you serious right now? And at the time, I was so much younger when I watched this dude. And I still knew back in the day. Like, you cannot let this dude go. You can't let him go. You need to kill him. Why are you feeding him? He just tried to kill you. He just tried to rob you. It sucks that he's alive. Just choke him out. No big deal. So the whole episode, he's deciding whether or not he wants to kill him, right? But also in that same episode, the next episode is that wonderful meme with Skylar where he looks, she looks up and finds Jesse Pinkman because she's suspicious of whatever Walt's doing. He finds that Jesse loves Mills, which can't complain, right? So and then she goes over to Jesse and she's like, my name is Skylar White, yo. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> you do not sell marijuana to my husband. That was just, it's so good because I still to this day get those memes. I get those TikToks. It's so great, that episode. <laughs> I love it. But I believe the whole entirety of the next episode, like the whole second episode was just about Walt deciding whether or not he wants to do and Jesse looking for that bucket. We then move on to the third episode and Walter is still deciding whether or not he wants to kill Crazy 8. And this is also where Skylar was even more suspicious of his activities. So she called the car wash to see where he was and then she found out that Walter actually quit two weeks ago. And that's something that I forgot to mention he quit his job finally angry right going into making crystal meth the <laughs> business that Skylar didn't know about right so she tells Walter not to come home so Walter sits on it and just decides, still decides whether or not he should kill crazy eight which obviously he should ends up bringing him a sandwich and then he fainted glass right and to be honest with you I was thinking that the first time I was like maybe he picked up like a little bit of the plate who knows because there's a lot of broken glass and he did faint who knows so Walter then ended up just deciding Okay, you know what? I'll let you go after having a nice, wonderful heart-to-heart with such a fantastic guy in Crazy 8, right? No harm. And he's like, will you not kill my family? I won't let you go. And he didn't have the heart to do it at the time, Walter. Walter, later on in the series, whew, would have had no problem. Just, well, what are we doing keeping this dude alive? You know what I mean? So he ended up realizing that he ended up that he stole a piece of the glass, went downstairs, and then did this awesome scene where it was like, okay, I'm going to unlock you. You're not going to hurt me with that piece of glass. And then just started, and just killed him. And it was awesome to see. And I was like, yes, I was right. And I shoved it in my mom's face. I was like, I told you so. And then my girl was saying the exact same thing. They have such big hearts. I'm like, how could you just leave this guy alive? How could you expect him to not come back for your entire family? 
incredible. So after Walt does decide to kill Crazy 8, we moves on to the next episode, and this is all about Walt's cancer, because the family sits him down, they find out that he has cancer, oh, and on top of that, Hank and the DEA start finding out about the blue, or was the meth blue at the time? I don't recall, yeah, it probably was, it probably was blue, maybe not, I don't know, they just found out that somebody was cooking meth and investigate the deaths of, a, oh, Emilio and Crazy 8, that's who it was, was it Emilio? Yeah, it must have been. I, I, it just came back to me. <laughs> Anyways, the whole episode was essentially about Walt's family being horrible, horrible people to him. Just sitting him down and just like, how could you not want treatment? And Walt just came up with this great thing. And honestly, I, I, I might do the same if I was in his shoes. Why would I just want to be sick if I'm going to die anyways? You know what I mean? Especially if I'm up here in the north. They'd be like, bye bye We'll see you in eight years. You know <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'd be a dead man either way. There's no way I'm going through chemo. So it, it, the whole point is they sat him down. They weren't letting Walt talk, and they were making decisions for him. Skyler was being a horrible, nagging wife. Walt Jr. didn't understand what was going on. Marie and Hank, or one of them agreed to it. I think it was actually Hank. Hank or Marie, one of them agreed with Walt. It's like, hey, it's his decision. He does what he wants to do. And they had that whole stupid scene with a talking pillow. <laughs> it, just, it was all ridiculous. And I felt horrible, horrible for Walt. And he's, he just went through so much to raise money for his family. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to die sick like his father, I believe it was. Also in that episode, Jesse went to go back to visit his parents. And there wasn't too much to really talk about there. He ended up finding a joint that was his brother. has gotten kicked out again. And we just see the rocky relationship that is with Jesse and his family. There's not too much to talk about there. Now, the next episode introduces us to Gretchen and Elliot because they went to that party and then Walt gave him a stupid gift with the Elliot ended up really, really loving more than anything, but we don't know if he actually ended up loving it more than anything because Skylar told him about the cancer and how long ago was that and did he actually like it? Who knows? Regardless, Gretchen and Elliot offered him a job and I don't remember if it was now where we learned about Walter sharing, selling his shares of Grey Matter and I'm a little bit confused and I'd love to know if you guys could help me out in the comments here because... I don't know if it was ever revealed, did Walter actually get screwed out of the company or did he actually sell his shares because he holds so much resentment towards these people, but is that just because he's upset with his own life and had the direction that it came in the direction where Gretchen Elliott ended up taking the company or did they, he actually get screwed out? I don't think we ever got an actual answer for that because it's kind of like Walt just said so, but he also said that he just sold his share in the company for what, like $5,000? So I don't know what to think there. Regardless, we're introduced to Gretchen and Elliot. They offer to pay his first treatment. Walter freaks out and just gets really angry at Skylar and does he still doesn't want treatment. But as the episode continues, we see Walter Jr. Get, trying to buy beer from somebody. He ended up being a cop. And I think Jesse's trying to find a job. Oh, he was cooking with Badger. And we get introduced to Badger, which is really, really funny. I love Badger, right? But then at the end of the episode, Walt ends up going to Skylar. And says that he will actually go through with the treatment. Now the next episode is the one where we finally get introduced to one of my favorite characters, Tuco. Tuco's hilarious, right? But anyways, so it starts off with now that Walter's going through the treatment, he needs money again. So he wants to cook. And something that I forgot to mention, of course, as we all know, him and Jesse parted ways. And it was very, very aggressive. So they, Jesse was trying to cook without Walt. It wasn't good enough. They started partnering up again. They came to an agreement where Walt does the cooking. Jesse does a distribution. After a little bit of problems with that and Walt still needs more money qu even more quicker than that than they were getting, Jesse he says we need a distributor and then that's how they ended up with Tuco. And Tuco's so funny. Skinny Pete brought him to Jesse, got beat up. Jesse ended up <laughs> horrible, right? So, and it's like, I just love the memes with Tuco where he's like, oh, tight, 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 yeah. It's just, my friends have been, I've been saying that for years. It's so so funny. So anyways, we learned that Tuco's absolutely insane. And then there's a little bit of a subplot with Hank finding a mask or I think it was a I think it was a mask at the site of the RV where Crazy Eight and Emilio were killed and they started investigating Walt School, but I don't think anything really came from that. They just figured out that I, I don't remember at the top of my head. It was something like they figured out it was still in New Mexico. I don't know. Regardless, the whole episode was about Tuco, and at the end of the episode Walt ended up, and he had his first big moment. Tuco owed him so much money, right? He goes in with his fake meth, blows the place up, earns Tuco's respect, he gets the money, and then we finally see Walter alive a little bit. He's shaved his head at this point. He looks great. He looks tough. He's walking back to his car. The whole place is exploding. 
and he gets into the car and still has that like moment where he's like banging on the wheel and screaming. It's just that moment where he felt more alive. Walter White has awakened at this point. He is a man again. And I'm not saying that you need to go do the stuff that he does to be a man, but it's also showing that Walter was just completely taken away. The cancer was killing him. He was unsatisfied. It was a life again. He was getting the poor handies while his life was looking at a computer screen. Horrible, horrible life. And now he feels alive again. I think this is where Walter really starts to like it. And with that takes us into the final episode of the season. And it starts off with Walter feeling like a man, of course. Like I was just talking about the sad handies he was getting. He's starting to get a little more active with his wife. You know what I mean? They were at that parent-teacher conference or whatever it was they were talking about. I, I don't even remember what they were talking about. I just remember Walter like feeling in th Skylar's thigh or something. And Skylar was absolutely loving it. Then they ended up banging in a car. And after that, like you could, the whole point of that was just... Walter was alive. He feels like a man again. Even Skylar was enjoying it. You know what I mean? She mentioned later on in like maybe a couple episodes with the chemo, the or the dude doing the chemo. She was like, oh my God, he's like really sexually active again. But then in that episode, there's also, and I'm on team, like if you've watched these Breaking Bad reviews before, man, that ever, so many people are so critical of that whole subplot with Marie shoplifting. And I, it probably happened before that, but now it's like that big moment with the tiara. I'm like, I'm so on team, that's completely useless. I'm not even going to talk about it. It was a little bit of a dumb storyline. Oh my god, Marie shoplifted Skylar at a panic attack and got away with it. Then they start having a little bit of a family conflict, you know what I mean? And this is also, I believe, where the blue meth comes in because they had a deadline with go. they didn't meet it, so they needed to cook more, and then Walt came up with the blue meth formula. I could be wrong on the timing of that. Regardless, they set up the base in Jesse's whole house, <laughs> and they start cooking, they had the open house, and then Jesse was like, oh, this isn't for sale, and then it was a really funny scene there. The point is, the big chunk of this episode was them finally doing deals with Tuco. Tuco hates Jesse, made that clear, Tuco's crazy, and they had a couple meetings. I They had a couple meetings in this episode, didn't they? Anyways, the final episode, what I'm talking about right now, is they f were trying to figure out how to make the meth. They figure out a way to get all of the meth that they needed because they were short one time, and then the episode ended with them bringing Tuco the blue meth, if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, they brought him enough meth, and Tuco was really happy, but then the dude he was with was like, yeah, just uh, remember who you're working for, and then Tuco just was like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I love Tuco, man. It's so funny. And I shouldn't be laughing at something like this, right? It's just like Tuco's a crazy character. So there's a whole problem with Tuco just punching his dude out and he ended up killing him. And then he was like, Walter, you're smart. Do the thing. Do the thing. And he's like, and Walter's like, no, he needs an ambulance. So the dude ended up dying and they hit him in the junkyard. The episode then ended off with Tuco saying, we'll see you next week. <laughs> and then we move on to season two. But we're going to talk about season two in a brand new new video I'm going to make all I'm going to talk about every season of Breaking Bad because it was a great it was a great season the introduction to Breaking Bad was fantastic I was hooked on it the first time that I saw it I was hooked on it the second time I saw it my girl was hooked on it when we were watching it over again and it's really interesting to see re-watching this knowing how it ends and knowing how like much of a horrible person Walt becomes we know the cancer comes back we know that he ends up being a ruthless killer after having such a problem and such a big heart not, not wanting to kill somebody in the first couple episodes very, very interesting. It's like watching it. I usually don't have this like different perspective in watching things for a second time, but the writing for this and the character development is so great in this show that it's very interesting to revisit. Perhaps I should do that again with more shows, but I like watching new stuff. You know what I mean? I'm just watching this because my girl hasn't seen it. It was great. We all loved it. We're going to talk about season two. So guys, Breaking Bad season one. Have you seen it? Let me know what you thought about it down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. On the screen right now, there will be Two fantastic videos for you to watch. It's probably about movies from the Clenema channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want, check it out. Take care.